What is up, Expressman64 here, back with more Thomas Headcanons. A lot of you seem to enjoy the last time I did this, and I've loved reading all of your feedback along with all of your own headcanons. If you haven't watched the previous video, I highly recommend you do so before this one, since you might be a bit confused. I'll have it linked down in the description for you to check out later. After I posted that first video, I realized there were more topics I wanted to talk about but left out, so I want to add on to some of the ones stated in that video while also adding new headcanons. With that introduction out of the way, let's get started. First off, I want to start with a headcanon that I forgot to put in the original video. Now, I have a confession to make. I am unfortunately a band kid. Yeah, I know some would describe it as being Disgraceful! Disgusting! Despicable! However, because of this, I have a deep love for music, so I wanted to showcase that in Thomas. The engines all have their own themes, and I'm willing to bet you've had some stuck in your head for quite a while. They're such an iconic part of the series' legacy, yet I feel like many overlook them. I personally believe that these themes we hear are actually songs the engines hum to themselves, as they work throughout the day. The idea was kind of inspired by Peter Sam singing in the Refreshment Lady episode. I'm Peter Sam, I'm running this line. I'm Peter Sam, I'm running this line. I just think it's a really neat idea. Next, I want to revisit my Great Waterton headcanon, since a lot of you seem to enjoy it. If you need a refresher, pretty much it was once Sodor's capital before it was destroyed and lost forever. In that old video, I had said that it was all narrow gauge trap. However, I am going to change that. As much as I like the idea of it all being nail gauge track, it doesn't make sense. It's been bugging me for a while, so let's just say there are narrow gauge tracks near it, but the main station has standard gauge track. What made me change my mind is I remember Neil existed. You know that one character from the Railway series? His existence literally makes it so this headcanon cannot happen. If it weren't for Neil, it would all be narrow gauge track. I also wanted to briefly mention that near this town, there is a canyon of sorts with a bridge on top. It's said that if you cross the bridge over the canyon, you can see the entire town. The canyon is also near a waterfall, so there's action everywhere you look. You could even say it's sort of an action canyon of sorts. Recently, I've seen people talking about Nia and how much potential she had in the series, yet it all went to waste. So I wanted to talk about it with my own headcanon for her. Nia in my AU dreams of traveling the world and visiting every railway. This was inspired by Thomas saying that he wanted to see the world and kind of of Nami from One Piece with her whole dream of wanting to sail the entire ocean. There's people who want to visit every country in the world so why can't an engine want to visit every single railway in the world? This headcanon also means that sooner or later, she will eventually have to show up on Sodor. Growing up, I always imagined that the mainland was this railway filled with the best engines in the world. So when I found out it was just the UK, I was a bit disappointed. Of course, with it being the UK, it kind of ruins this headcanon. I had since stuff like dieselization makes it hard to call it a steam engine's paradise. However, if you remember my McBung headcanon, you would know that that event took place in 1984. Around this time, steam engines started being seen as these cool machines, so I imagine that around the 80s, the mainland started fixing its reputation. I also want to say that certain engines who work on the mainland are a bit snobby and don't really respect Sodor all too much. To them, Sodor is the furthest you could get from an elegant railway. You may have heard of something called the Azalea Railway. This is a railway on the mainland where my OC works along with a couple other engines. We always see engines coming and going from the mainland, so it makes sense that there would be several railways where these engines live. Of course there are railways like the Bluebell Railway, but I like thinking that a lot of the hit era one-offs come from different railways on the mainland, each with their own names and reputations behind them. I have always loved the idea of rivals. They are always some of my favorite character dynamics, so I thought I'd create a nice rival pairing for Silver, Henry and Murdoch. 
I used to always have these two competing to see which one of them is the strongest. Henry used to be considered the strongest engine on Sodor, and then Murdoch comes and shows him up, and kind of steals the title away from him. However, the two of them have had to work together to compete against the absolute Chad that is Hero. Speaking of Hero, I love the idea of him being one of the first engines on Sodor. I hate Thomas being the first engine on Sodor, so anytime we get hints that he wasn't it, I will take it. The idea of Sodor being this passion project that multiple investors took a chance on is an idea I've experimented with for a while. The investors would reach out to other railways to see if they wanted to help, one of those railways being the one Hero is from. Thus, with all these people coming together to build a railway, it became a love letter to railways from all across the world. Now for the last headcanon of the video. Now, this headcanon actually isn't in this video. And that is because I'm adapting it into its own episode that will be out soon. I recently moved, so this video will be the last video I ever filmed at my old place. Once that video is out, I will link it in the comments and the description. So I hope you all look forward to my rewritten adaptation of Deep Freeze. Like last time, if you have any headcanons, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. I loved reading them from the old comment section, and I still read them to this day. I also kind of want to make a third part of the series where I discuss some of your headcanons that you've left in the comment section of this one or the first video. Of course, not everyone is comfortable with this, so if you're okay with your headcanon appearing in a potential future video, Write your headcanon and comment strawberry under the headcanon in the same reply. You can even edit your comment on the first video and add strawberry to it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm not sure if I'd make a third part since I've been cooking up something and I want to save a lot of my good ones for that potential project. However, never say never. Well, time to do the generic YouTuber thing. If you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Till we meet again.